Hello Windows Universe, in this video we will talk about how to fix the Microsoft Store error 0x872F30, check your connection. For more in-depth look at the topic, we will link an article in the description down below. Change your internet connection. It's a basic tip, but sometimes works like a charm. You may want to check if your internet connection has an issue. And if possible, try connecting to a different internet connection and see if the Microsoft Store opens for you. We also suggest you try changing your DNS and see if that helps. Check the time, the date, and the time zone on your computer. Many apps and services rely on the time zone, the date, and the time of your computer. If they are not correctly configured, a request from the client machine will be rejected from the server. And the same happens with the Microsoft Store. So let's go to settings, time and language, turn off the toggle to set time and time zone, then manually select the time zone for you. However, if this was already set manually, you may want to set up the automatic time and time zone and then sync and see if this resolves the issue for you. Run the built-in network troubleshooters. Windows offers native troubleshooting tools for which do the work for you. So let's go to settings, then update and security, troubleshoot, additional troubleshooters. We are going to run a couple of them. We're going to run the internet connections. We're also going to run the network adapter troubleshooter and the Windows update troubleshooter. You'll follow all of the on-screen prompts, then restart your system when you are done. Just like any other browser, Microsoft Store also caches as you visit the apps and games section. It is possible that the cache is no longer valid and should be removed. To do this, go to Settings, go to Apps and Features, look for the Microsoft Store, Advanced Options. We want to reset it. After that, restart your system and see if the Microsoft Store works then. Proper functioning of the Microsoft Store is dependent on the Windows Update Service. It is possible that there's something wrong with your Update Service and because of which the store fails to load. Go to the Task menu and type in services.msc. Search for the Windows Update Service. Double click. Make sure that it is both set to automatic and that it is running. If you have to make any changes, click on Apply and click OK. Then restart your system. For more helpful articles to help you maximize your Windows experience, go to our website, thewindowsclub.com. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel where we are always adding new content aimed at making you the master of your digital house. Thanks for watching and have a great day.